All right, so you don't have any money. Can you still build a seven figure business? Yes. Come on now, dolls. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hit a seven figure business in one year from today, even if you are dead ass broke. I mean, broker than your cat. You are living in the basement. You've been down in the basement drinking coffee for four hours because you live in a van. Down by the river. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hey, if that's you, don't worry, I got you covered. But first things first, you gotta stop telling yourself the story that you don't have any money. Money is one thing that makes a company grow faster. It's also a thing that breaks companies because people spend money in places that they shouldn't. When people start businesses in order to solve financial problems, it is kind of like saying, I'm gonna have a baby so that I have more free time. It just doesn't work like that. Having a business will expose your financial challenges, but if you have the business that creates enough value that attracts money, that will actually solve your financial problems. If you think about this like an energy exchange, if you're creating more energy, it's like a teeter-totter. Is that right? Teeter-totter? A seesaw? It's that toy that goes like this. If you put more weight on this side of the seesaw, it's almost like the universe has to balance it in your way because if somebody is getting more value out of the thing that you have, then they will pay for it. So the way that we need to start this conversation is think about how we can create something of immense value for one person. Dave Asprey did this really well where he was like, I put butter in my coffee and it gave me a better day. So I'm going to start Bulletproof Coffee. And that was like the gateway drug of all things Dave Asprey and Bulletproof. And it became a phenomenon that built a billion dollar company. If you think about one person and the impact that you can have in their life, and then you think, I want to create something like that. That is the thing that will start to move the conversation and the store in your mind out of how do I extract money from this? Think about how do I infuse energy and life and value into someone else's life? And that's when you end up getting yours. The second way to get a business off the ground with no money is, again, assuming that you're creating something that is of immense value to someone else is that you can pre-sell it. If you are talking about your product idea or your business idea publicly, and maybe you're documenting that on Instagram or TikTok or a blog or a podcast or YouTube or an email list, then you will have an audience of people who are lined up and waiting to buy your thing. Look at what Alex Formosi is doing right now with his book launch for $100 million leads. Alex has been building his audience and giving value to them for the last two years. And as a result, he has built up leverage and demand for a book that is coming out that is probably going to cost 99 cents. And I predict that it will be the best selling business book of all time. Now you are not Alex Hormozy. What? I am not Alex Hormozy. Are you serious? I can't grow a beard like that. I can't fill out a muscle shirt like that. I don't have calves like that. But you are you, and you don't need to have a hormozy sized audience to have a $10,000 launch, a $50,000 launch. I have two people inside of the Capitalism Incubator named Ryan and Tristina Tim, who had a $100,000 launch in their first six weeks because they had 500 people in a Facebook group. Oh, 500 people, $100,000. I mean, come on, what's your excuse? And the third way to start a business, if you've got absolutely no money, you can partner with influencers who will be your distribution. We love to obsess about distribution in today's fast-paced marketplace. We think about how we get rankings for keywords, how we get cheap Facebook ads. Well, influencers are just another form of distribution. A good example of this is one of our portfolio brands at the Capitalism Fund sells accessories for cars. The core market is moms. And one of the products that they have is an insert into the car seat that holds things like an iPad or a food tray. And the owner of the company, Jake, is always thinking about how do I make these moms' lives a little bit easier? And some of them post publicly that they're using the product. Some of those videos go crazy viral. Some of them don't. But the ones that do result in 10 sales a day, 50 sales a day, one did a hundred sales a day fairly consistently as a result of one post that was about 15 seconds long. The only reason this worked is because he's thinking about who's the person that would benefit the most and how do I create value for them? This was not a paid shout out. 
there was no advertising relationship, and this influencer only had about 2,500 followers on Instagram. Now, yes, Jake needed to have product ready. It did cost a few hundred dollars for him to get that product made and to have a few units produced and delivered. So I guess you'll need a few hundred bucks. So I guess I misled you in the title of this video. I'm a scam artist. But you know what you could do is even if you don't have product yet, you could have your design shown that you had made by Mid Journey or some dude on Fiverr or you designed yourself or your equally broke cousin had made in Photoshop. You can take your designs of prototype and start sending it out to people that you know that it would be a value for. Do you realize that that is the secret to all of it? It's not about how we trick the marketplace or even how we raise capital. It starts with is what we are developing of more value for other people than it is for us. Because if it is, then we have the leverage for our ads to work, for our raise to be successful, and for us to get the customers that we want and build a million dollar business. Most entrepreneurs get into the game because they're thinking about how much money they can make. And you can make a lot of money as an entrepreneur. But first, you must prioritize someone else's experience before your experience of life changes. That requires that you think more about the other person, the customer, the client, or huh, even your boss. How do you create more value for them? That is how you make all the money that you wanna make. If you wanna follow a formula, a system for doing this, mine is that if you sell physical stuff, it's simple to get four products to 25 sales a day at a $30 price point, which is a million dollar business. It starts with the person that you serve, building a small audience of them, launching the first product to them, getting it to 25 sales a day, and then repeating that process three more times so that you have four products at 25 sales a day at a $30 price point. That is a seven figure business that you can have a multi-million dollar exit from if you decide to sell it. If you wanna follow that formula, you can find out what I do and how I can help you over at capitalism.com slash one. That is my mentoring community called the 1% where I help entrepreneurs like you actually follow that formula. And it's the formula that I just gave you in this video. I'm Ryan Daniel Moran with capitalism.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.